welcome to the next session of answers apdl in this session we are going to solve a cantilever beam which is subjected to udl that is uniformly distributed load on a cantilever beam so let's get started i'll first go to preferences i'll choose structural okay next i'll go to pre processor element type add edit delete add i'll choose beam two node okay i'll close this next i'll go to material properties material model structural linear elastic isotropic i am using structural steel as a material for the beam so i'll take the value of e as 2 e5 and poisson's ratio as 0.3 I close this. Next, I'll go to sections, beam, common sections. Let me use the cross section of the beam as 10 by 10 mm. Preview. Okay. I'll go to plot, replot. Next, I'll go to modeling, create. key points in active cs my first key point is at 000 apply the second key point is say at 500 length okay so this is my beam next i'll go to lines straight line i'll choose both the key points that makes my beam so this completes the modeling next i'll go to meshing size control manual size line all lines i'll give the number of division as say 4 okay next i'll go to mesh line pick all so i have chosen all the points and it is meshed so meshing ends here next i'll go for load application i'll go to define loads structural next i'll go to displacement since it is cantilever i'll give one end as fixed so all degree of freedom is zero this is empty means it is zero okay and on this entire length i want to apply udl so i will go to pressure i'll go to on beam pick all i will uh, apply the value of pressure on the beam as say 100 newton per mm okay so here the udl is applied i'll go for the bottom view over here you can see this is bottom view so that's how i can see the entire udl applied on the beam so this completes my loading condition i will go to now solution solve current ls okay solution is done so close this and this other screen also then i'll go to general post processing and i want to plot the results deform shape so i want to see the deformed shape plus undeformed shaped okay so this is how the deformation looks like suppose if i want to see the 3d figure over here i will go to plot control style size and shape display of element okay okay i'll go to isometric view so this is how the deformed shape will look like next i'll go to contour plot nodal solution i'll go for degree of freedom displacement vector sum okay so this gives me the displacement of the entire beam at a various positions next i'll go to nodal solution stress von mein stress okay so this gives me the stress over the entire body now suppose if i want to list the results i can go to nodal solution degree of freedom displacement vector sum okay 
so this will give me the values now here you can observe the element has been divided into five parts and you can see the value of displacement at each position in various direction x y and z now suppose if i want to see the stress i will go for stress one minus okay so here again now suppose if i want to see the reaction solution all items okay so this gives me fx fy and fz that is the reaction in the z direction and also i get the moment on the beam so that is how i have applied the load and i can see the reactions on the beam now suppose if i want to animate this i'll go to plot controls animate deform results so suppose if i want to see the animation of degree of freedom solution okay so this is how i can see the deformation this is along the x axis so since i have applied the load in the z direction so this is the direction in which i am seeing the animation so suppose if i want to see it in a vertical view i will go for animate deform shape okay so this is how i am going to get the results so this is going to reduce my delay in the results so it will become a little faster Now suppose if i want to save it i'll go for animate save animation and then save it over here so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the solution if you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section see you in the next session thank you